more. That's what it's all about. Regular show. It's a true titan of its industry and undoubtedly too good for this world. Yep. If you've never seen this animated comedy on Cartoon Network, you're missing out. Regular show follows a blue jay named Mordecai and a raccoon named Rigby. They're both 20-something slackers who work at a park. And the charm of this show has always been its seemingly normal episodic plots that quickly escalate into the supernatural. This phenomenal show graced our television screens from 2010 to 2017, a long and well-deserved run on its home network. But what a lot of people don't know is that this show got a made-for-TV movie in late 2015. But by this point, a lot of people had moved on from the show, which is really why these people missed the event. And my job here today is to defend this movie and to show you guys how amazing it is, because seriously, I don't see enough people talking about this. If you're a fan of regular show but somehow haven't seen this movie, you really should. This will be a spoiler-free review because I don't want to give away any of the big emotional bits. The first great thing about this movie is something you'll notice right away when watching it. This movie captures the feel of regular show perfectly. And a lot of these made-for-TV movies fail to emulate the magic of the original, but this one knocks it out of the park, no pun intended. This movie is basically an hour-long regular show episode, and I suspect that's what most people want out of something like this. It's classic regular show but with better animation, bigger stakes, and a paradigm shift in the duo dynamic. Then that last point is really what I want to talk about next. Now, there is a twist in this movie. It's a big part of the film. I obviously won't spoil it. All I can tell you is that it's one of the most perfectly crafted twists in any piece of media I've ever seen. Its ramifications are felt by every character, yet it is still somehow self-contained within this film. And I really applaud the creators of this film for expanding on one of regular show's weakest aspects, in my opinion, the emotional core. Because when you think of regular show, you don't think of big emotional scenes, you know, that shake you to your very core. But this movie really hits home with that aspect. I mean, integrated seamlessly into the story of this movie, it's the whole reason I still give this masterpiece a rewatch once or twice a year. Speaking of its story, what a phenomenal plot to increase the epicness of the show in general. Actually, I'm going to jot this down as a general lesson for made-for-TV movies. This has been a long time coming. Lesson 1. Increase the stakes. Doing so will allow your hour-long episode to be set apart from the main series. You don't want to increase it too much, or else you have, oh, I don't know, chopping up sharks in space with a lightsaber chainsaw. But that's just a hypothetical example off the top of my head, I swear. Another aspect of this movie that just works is its music. Just listen to the track for this opening credits. It's amazing. If there's one thing I want out of an experience like this, it's an epic instrumental infused with the spirit of the original series. And there's also an instrumental towards the end with an sort of inspirational mood. Both of these tracks heighten the moments in the film, as a good backing track should. Oh, and if you're wondering, of course this film has seamlessly integrated non-original songs. I'm talking Pale Blue Eyes, March of the Swivel Heads. I did not know what these songs were until I looked them up now, but this movie's got it. If you're a fan of regular show, you know how the series uses classic tracks like these in its episode, especially in the earlier seasons. Well, this movie has these integrations as well, and they're fantastic choices. So if you love these iconic moments in the OG series, you'll love them here. That's a 10. Now, I've praised the movie on pretty much everything so far, but there is one thing I would change about it. It's an incredibly small nitpick, but a nitpick nonetheless. The film does a great job of referencing events and places from the show, but nothing from the movie really sticks around. Outside of just a handful of objects or ideas, Nothing big really carries over into the show afterwards. I guess it makes sense to have it be this way. If you haven't seen the movie but you still watch the show, you might have gotten confused if they carried stuff over. I mean, I still think it would have made this movie just a tad more impactful on the overall dynamic of the characters, but it's not something that particularly sours the experience in any way. Again, just a small nitpick. Everything in this movie is pretty self-contained, so I guess it does make sense that the movie would stand out in its own right by doing this. Okay, so that was my review of Regular Show the Movie. I've kind of been wanting to review this for a while now. It's just a movie that I've always really liked. You know, you don't really get it, you don't really see it being talked about a lot. It's a great film that you should watch or rewatch immediately after this video ends. Classic but polished animation, a bump in intro, and an emotional beat that will rock you to your core. 
a must watch for all regular show fans. Oh, and if you like this video's outfit, you can check out its full body counterpart on Instagram. I'm actually really proud of this video's outfit. I also have a Redbubble with designs like these. And be sure to subscribe for more animated movie reviews like this one. I'll see you in the next one. This music is bumping. Oh, yeah, and I'll try to get that Star Wars video up. I mean, you know, basically it got copyright claimed and blocked everywhere, and I guess I should have seen this coming. You know, I did use a lot of footage from the movies, but, you know, I thought it was fair use. Whatever, I'll get it figured out. I can't wait for you guys to eventually see it.